on their... Do you have a timer? Oh, uh, no. Sorry. Sure. Let's do timer, and then which flow are you doing first? So I'm going first on the EU United and then water stuff. Great. Is it three minutes or? Three minutes. Yep. Okay. Whenever you guys are ready. It's recording. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, okay. So first on there, a uh, letter card. Says too many all causes and no impact in relations. Okay. So all, the all causes to the same effects and uh, relationship uh, relations will differ because uh, it's imp it's imp it's empirically proven that relationships will differ because uh, throughout like history, and st uh, history, uh, other European countries have all fought against each other because of my okay, uh, onto off Turkey. Um, uh, uh, onto their off Turkey. So uh, they, uh, on their offshore wind key, they, they say that uh, current issues like U U Ukraine matter more. But Ukraine has uh, boiled over every day. The conflict go comes closer to um, uh, closing and uh, reaching a peaceful conflict. But offshore wind is still a gaping hole in the um, uh, gaping hole in the. It's still it's still a gaping hole and still hasn't occurred. It, every day it, comes, it, it, it closes, it, it opens a little bit more, making it a bigger issue. Offshore wind is still key, and uh, it, yeah, it, it spills over, and it's also key, key to trade and wind. Um, onto relations, they say that um, on sorry, onto their no Afghan impact card. Uh, Afghanistan will have an impact because it's a country uh, torn by unstable, unstable. It's, it's, it's unstable country torn by war, economic, and almost civil wars. It, uh, if it were to be affected, it would have a detrimental impact. Uh, it will have a detrimental impact on uh, the countries leading to other types of world wars. On to um, NATO. NATO is still important. It makes law. NATO is still important. It, it regulates most of the European trade and it makes laws. Uh, it, their car is also outdated it's from '95. NATO is more important in 2014 than it was in '95. It's, it's expanded. It's created more. Uh, it's created more loss. And because of the recent um, recent uh, issues like Ebola, Ebola, and uh, uh, something like the Ukraine crisis, it has more uh, impact on world um, issues. On their Russian war card, um, they they say that. Uh, Russia, they said there will be no Russia, Russian war. Just like they said, they, they said a uh, Russian conflict and uh, and confidence has gone up, and because of this, they have more nuclear weapons and stockpiles, and they have the ability to go to war. And if if, if something arises that they uh, can go to war, they're pow they're powerful enough to have it. So there's no in fact they're on to U.S. first strike wins. Um, so they say that. Uh, they say that uh, if in the event of something happening, the U.S. would just send a first strike, and then they would. This is not true. Um, if it's mutually assured destruction, if the United States were to send out something such as a nuclear uh, attack, um, first of all, uh, Russia would strike. Any country would strike back, sending nuclear bombs for One strike isn't enough because uh, with just one strike, certain cities would be impacted, but other places would still be alive, and then uh, other countries would retaliate. This is mutually assured destruction, meaning that, uh, yeah.